What's up everyone, Scotty Gaines here with Jalen Bates after practice here on a Wednesday before the Michigan State game. Mm -hmm. Jalen, on Saturday night you ran out uh, in front of a team with holding the American flag. Mm -hmm. I know your family is a military family, your dad being in the Marines. Uh, how, how special is that for you and your family? Um, it was really special because I know my dad really holds that uh, pride of a servant, serving America like really close to his heart and he uh, he came to tears whenever he um, learned that I was holding the flag again because last year I was holding for the uh, Pat Tumman game so he came to tears again and, and he was actually at the game. It was a coincidence so uh, it just meant a lot to him and it means a lot to me when it means a lot to him so I mean the honor of it was just cool. Yeah, so. and you talk about he came to tears. Was it, did you call him on the phone and tell him or how did that go down? Well, it was actually in person when I found him because I found out on Twitter so they wasn't telling me and um, I was at the hotel and they were at their hotel and I mean my mom texted me and told me that my dad, he was emotional about it and, and he was real proud that I was carrying out the American flag and it's a real honor to do so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Saturday was your first start as a Sun Devil, and I know it's been a long journey for you, including a 2016 knee injury that you've gotten mm -hmm. over with a right. competitive mindset all summer. What, mm -hmm. How have you been taking the game weeks now coming off of such a busy summer? Um, just with a grain of salt, I mean, just, just day by day, just stacking um, good practices, good film sessions on top of each other, good. Just stacking, just, just like um, trying, trying to get better, like find, finding some like small things to get better at every day. And um, not thinking about the whole week, but just thinking about small little uh, portion of the week, you know what I'm saying, and just getting better at that. So. Yeah, and Saturday you also recorded your first tackles as mm -hmm. a Sun Devil, and right. as, as I said, it's been a long journey for you. How special was it for you to get your first tackles for Arizona State mm -hmm. the other day? It was real special, especially since my parents were in the stands and, um, and family just watching me and um, crowd. Crowd was just like, just the energy in the stadium was just crazy, and it was just, it was just fun. I mean, it was a long time coming, so it was just fun for me to do that. Yeah, and you're one of five kids, and your parents are mm -hmm. obviously very generous and and have uh, raised you the right way and right. everything I've seen about you. How how important is just your family to you? Not away from football. How important um, is your family to you? They're extremely important. I mean, the most, the probably the most important thing in my life other than God. I mean, just. My, um, growing up in a competitive family like I did, I mean, they pushed me, pushed me, pushed me to be the best I can possibly be. And my dad's tough mindset, my mom's tough mindset. I mean, I couldn't go out there soft. Like, I don't think my parents was really satisfied with my performance. And, and like, people were ranting and raving on Twitter and stuff like that. I made the all-conference team and stuff like that with the, uh, the thing on Twitter. So, I mean, they weren't really satisfied with my performance because they didn't think I was uh, physical enough, which is funny because, like, 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 uh, they're not real like football experts, you know what I'm saying? But they expect a lot out of me, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, but they just pushed me a lot, and and I really appreciate it with my family. So, yeah. And I know you say they push you a lot. You're a three-sport athlete in high school. You mm -hmm. uh, played football. You could dunk the basketball, and you ran track as well. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. how, how have both of those sports helped you now here at Arizona um, State in football? Track made me really much faster. I mean, I wasn't fast before I ran track. I started running track when I was in eighth grade, and. And um, running the 200 made me, like, I didn't, I didn't really, um, I wasn't quite used to my body yet because I was still was, um, still was growing into my body because I've been 6'5 since I was in eighth grade. So, I mean, I was still kind of developing into my body. And I mean, basketball and track played a part in me, um, kind of developing into a complete athlete, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like I'm still, I'm, I'm still taking time to develop my body. So it's just a process, I mean, but um, those sports really helped me, though. So. Yeah, and now fast forwarding into uh, this weekend against Michigan State, and I know you're all excited. It's one of the biggest games in the country this weekend. Mm -hmm. How's your mindset been going into Saturday night? Physicality is a big word um, for me. I'm just, like um, just going into every film session, going into every uh, practice. I just think that physicality is going to be the biggest thing for us up front. Just um, just playing that type of game. I mean, they like to play with low pad level and, and get off the ball low and, and, and try to dig you out of there. So I mean. Us up front, we got to play physical, strong, and fast like we always do. So it's just that simple. All right, physical, mm -hmm. strong, and fast. Jalen Bates, thanks so much mm -hmm. for joining me, man.